ever feel like you're drowning in a sea of old t-shirts? Well, if so, we've got a great project for you today. Hi, I'm Kirsten with Girl Scouts of Maine. This is part of the Make the World a Better Place series. Today I'm going to show you how to make dog toys using old t-shirts. This is a great way to use up things you might have around the house, as well as helping out our furry four-legged friends. We're going to make a braided tug toy. For this project, all you'll need is an old t-shirt and some scissors. The first thing you're going to need to do is to cut off the hems of the shirt. You'll cut off the bottom hem as well as around the arms and the neckline. At the bottom of the shirt, you'll then cut slits about one and a half inches apart. They don't have to be exactly even because as you do the next step, it will kind of work itself out. Then you'll simply start ripping the shirt by holding either side of the slit and pulling. You'll do that all the way across for all of your slits. Once you have all of your strips ripped, give them each a little tug to stretch them out. Then lay them out in a little bundle. Once you've done that, you're simply going to take one of the strips that you have and use that to tie off the end so that they don't unravel. You want to tie it as tightly as you can just so that they don't fall apart. I like to wrap mine around a couple times just to make sure it's nice and strong. Give it a good tug and you're ready to go. You've got your strips there. You'll then lay them out and divide them into about three sections. It doesn't have to be exactly even, um, just as long as it works for you for braiding. So you split them into three sections and then you'll simply start breaking them together. You'll find that you get a nice, strong, these are very sturdy toy. So then take another cord and tie it again at the bottom like you did with the first one. If you find that you've got some uneven ends after you're done braiding, you can cut them off if you'd like, but that's not nece necessary. It's really just up to you and your own preference. So you can tie it, give it a good, nice pull and not the end. I'm gonna cut mine to get rid of those uneven ends there. And if you need help from an adult, feel free to do so, or you can cut them individually. And there you go, you got a nice dog toy. It looks like they're having a blast. Make some for your own furry friend and make some to donate to your local animal shelter. Spread the love and help make the world a better place for our four-legged friends. If you like this activity, check out some of the other activities in the Pets Badge and the Animal Shelter Awareness Patch. You can also find fun activities on the Girl Scouts at Home page at girlscoutsofmaine.org. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.